We today discussed um, the measures that we would undertake uh, in, in the hope that we will be locating the aircraft uh, uh, over, over the next uh, few months. We needed to put in place arrangements for recovery and to make plans for the priorities in relation to uh, that recovery effort. Clearly the important thing in, in finding the aircraft is to try and uh, develop a, a, a plausible explanation for why this disaster has occurred. The intention would clearly be to recover the black boxes and other cr critical elements of the aircraft which are essential for that investigation. In the event that we cannot find the aircraft, the commitment has then been made to extend the search over a further 60,000 square, kilometer, square kilometres. That would cover the entire highest probability parts of the search area, the places where we believe that the aircraft is most likely to be located. We think that it is important for the families seeking closure, uh, for the aviation industry, for those people who travel in aircraft from time to time, that this search is successful in achieving its objective. We need to understand how this incident occurred to help ensure that it doesn't happen again in the future. Around 26 countries in total have been involved in the search effort since that disappearance um, uh, over a year ago. The work that's being undertaken now, the detailed search of that first 60,000 uh, 60, square kilometres is being undertaken by four vessels in a very, very remote part of ocean. It's uh, around five to six days journey to the nearest mainland from the area, that, uh, the, from the area where the search is being undertaken. To get the vessels into Fremantle for, for replenishment and servicing is a five to six day journey. Uh, in, it's in very inhospitable country. There have been half a dozen cyclones in the area since uh, the search began and now we're moving into winter and therefore can expect uh, unfavourable conditions in the weeks and months ahead. The water is very deep, up to six and a half kilometres deep. And uh, the, the surface of the sea, uh, at that, sorry, of the, of the sea bed is uh, quite rugged. In some cases, escarpments up to 2,000 metres high. So the task of, cha of undertaking this search with towed uh, fish and autonomous vehicles is haz hazardous and needs to be undertaken with great care. I am very confident that we have the best search equipment in the world and if the aircraft is in the area that we're looking, we will find it. The high resolution of the pictures that the ministers have been shown today gives us a, a high level of confidence that if there is any piece of the aircraft uh, that's, that's within the range of these vehicles, that they will pick it up and be able to identify it. There is an important task still ahead. Uh, we've been working cooperatively together as governments and we are all determined to do whatever we can to try and find the aircraft and to give answers to the families of the loved ones who've been lost. Uh, we're confident we're searching in the right area. We're confident we have the very best available equipment and for that reason we are optimistic that we'll be able to recover the aircraft and provide the answers that people are, working, uh, are looking to achieve.